in this video let's discuss how to prepare effectively for low level and high level design interviews are you preparing for system design interview and wondering how to prepare effectively system design interviews assess your ability to architect complex systems make design decisions and communicate your ideas clearly whether you are a beginner or have some experience having a structured roadmap can significantly boost your preparation so in this video let's discuss the roadmap for system design interview preparation hi there welcome to tech and career bites i'm a software professional with over two decades of experience including seven years in leadership roles at a global product based organization to effectively prepare for system design interviews it's a first crucial to understand the process involved in designing complex systems so let's first understand the process the process begins with a thorough understanding and analysis of requirements as you know the requirements can be categorized into functional requirements that to describe the specific features and functionalities and non functional that specify qualities and attributes like performance and reliability after grasping the requirements the next step involves estimating the necessary resources including the number of servers storage capacity and network bandwidth required to fulfill both functional and non functional requirements step 3 is design elements selection common design elements such as load balancers content delivery networks domain name systems distributed caches and messaging systems offer pre-designed solutions to typical challenges in distributed system design incorporating these elements streamlines the design process and avoids reinventing the wheel the next step is to come up with abstract high level design in this step we develop an abstract high level design that identifies various system components while adhering to the single responsibility principle this step provides an overview of the system architecture and helps in understanding the interactions between different components in api design step we need to define the various apis and their communication protocols to ensure seamless interaction between different parts of the system aligning with both functional and non functional requirements here we determine the necessary web communication and data fetch patterns to facilitate effective interactions between system components while data modeling is not always a focal point in system design interviews it is crucial to understand its principles and techniques so familiarize yourself with the data modeling concepts and be prepared to apply them if required during the interview process and in the final step we evaluate the design to ensure it meets all agreed upon requirements throughout the system design discussion my suggestion is stick to the scope agreed at the beginning and bring to the discussion various distributed system concepts knowledge that you have now let's explore what to learn to excel at each step of the system design process to create efficient designs it's crucial to grasp fundamental distributed systems concepts so familiarize yourself with the key terms including scalability reliability availability software performance various software performance metrics fault tolerance and maintainability many of these topics are covered in separate videos in this channel so you can watch them and learn system design often involves making trade offs between different factors such as performance cost complexity and ease of maintenance optimizing one aspect of the system may come at the expense of others master the art of articulating the system design trade offs and hone your decision making abilities some of the design trade offs worth exploring are listed here you can pause and note down the list back of the envelope calculations are referred to quick and rough estimates done using simplified assumptions they help us critically think about performance scalability and resource requirements 
Some of the examples could be the number of concurrent TCP connections a server can handle, the number of requests per second a web database or CAT server can handle, and the storage and network bandwidth requirements of a service. Practice and be compatible with back of the envelope calculations. Ensure that the scale assumptions made during the back of the envelope calculations are reasonable and not overly exaggerated. In preparing for system design interviews, it's essential to understand the common design elements like load balancers, which play a vital role in implementing both functional and non-functional requirements. Listed here are necessary building blocks. Apart from the just mentioned building blocks, several other design elements commonly feature in system design discussions. You can see the list here. API design is an essential aspect of system design. A good grasp of network protocols, client-server communication, API architecture styles, HTTP-based web and data communication, security, etc. is recommended. Data modeling is designing the database schema and data storage mechanisms for the system. This includes database schema design, data partitioning strategies, indexing, caching, and data consistency mechanisms. Once you have a good understanding of the fundamentals, practice a system design for commonly asked problems like designing WhatsApp, YouTube, and seek feedback from online resources or mock interviews. Listed here are some commonly asked system design problems. I hope this structured approach to preparing for system design interviews helps you. You can find some learning resources in the description box for your preparation. I wish you all the very best. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics. Also, do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, system design, coding, big data, and career growth. My name is Rupa, and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. Are you preparing for low-level design interview and wondering how to prepare effectively? LLD interviews assess a candidate's ability to translate high-level design concepts into detailed implementable solutions. These interviews often focus on data structures, algorithms, object-oriented programming concepts, design principles, and design patterns. Whether you are a beginner or have some experience, having a structured roadmap can significantly boost your preparation. So in this video, let's discuss the roadmap for low-level design interview preparation. Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bites. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product-based organization. To prepare effectively for low-level design interviews, it's important to first understand the systematic process of translating high-level design into low-level details for implementation. So let's understand the process. The initial phase involves understanding the problem statement carefully. As an interview candidate, we are encouraged to ask clarifying questions to gather system requirements effectively. You can see here a sample of how requirements are captured. The next step is modeling the problem. Here we focus on identifying the various actors and primary use cases of the system. It is required to establish relationships between and among actors and their use cases. We may be asked to draw use case diagrams to visualize system components. The third step is establishing classes and relationships. The heart of the object-oriented design interview lies in identifying the classes and their relationships. We must list all objects relevant to the system and define their attributes and operations. Mapping out relationships between objects and justifying the use of 
abstract classes or interfaces is crucial. High level class diagrams should be sketched to aid visualization for the interviewer in this step. Step 4 is creating sequence and activity diagrams. In this step, we need to describe a sequence of events or system control flows using sequence and activity diagrams. These visual representations help in explaining complex concepts effectively. A sample sequence diagram for login is shown here. After requirement analysis, we should leverage design patterns to demonstrate best practices in object-oriented software design. Applying appropriate design patterns to solve the problem showcases a deep understanding of object-oriented design principles. We will cover what design patterns to focus in the next few minutes. The final step is implementation. We should be proficient in coding classes and relationships identified during the design phase. The interviewer may expect us to code a high level structure of the system. Additionally, they may also ask us to code one of the classes at the implementation level. So, this is the LLD process applicable both in interview scenarios and when translating HLD to LLD at work. Now, Let's explore what to learn to excel at each step of the LLD process. First and foremost, familiarize yourself with object-oriented programming concepts. It is essential to apply object-oriented programming principles such as encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism during the interview process. Focus on compile time and runtime polymorphism. Understand and apply solid design principles that covers all the significant aspects of object-oriented design. Good understanding of design patterns and ability to apply them in the right way is key. Listed here are frequently asked design patterns. Improve your ability to visualize the system components and interactions using UML notations. Here are the most widely asked UML diagrams. Mastering data structures and algorithms is crucial for LLD interviews. Some of the fundamental yet very important data structures to focus are listed here. Apart from the data structures, we need to learn common sort, search, and graph traversal algorithms. Ensure to practice problem solving on platforms like lead code, hacker rank, and code forces, and gain coding proficiency. After spending sufficient time mastering UML design patterns, design principles, data structures, and algorithms, it's time to practice LLD. Solve a variety of object-oriented design problems. Seek feedback from online resources or mock interviews. Listed here are few frequently asked LLD questions. Mastering the LLD interviews require a combination of technical proficiency, problem solving skills, and effective communication. I hope this structured approach to preparing for low-level design interviews helps you. You can find some learning resources in the description for your preparation. I wish you all the very best. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics. Also, do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, system design, coding, big data and career growth. My name is Rupa and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.